Welcome to a new casted game of the women's tournament. These are women fighting each other in this tournament for women only. Here on the north we have Helen playing as the Malians. And here on the south we have Kate Yi playing as the Ayubets. And with me today is Nim. Hello everyone. Hello. Kate Yi on the Ayubets. 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 <laughs> I think I'm just going to call her Katie. Because that's a little easier to say. <laughs> yeah, so we have, it's typical, we just grab some extra wood so that our village over here can plop down some houses onto that pit mine, get mm -hmm. some of the passive gold in, Free and gold. launch us into the feudal age. They're going to stop after this and just go onto, onto, onto sheep, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure how mm -hmm. much how much wood we're grabbing off of this, this one tree. Are we just completely depleting it? Are we doing 150 on, of it? Mm-hmm. I mean, every house is like 25, so I'm not sure how much he, he wants to pop oh. down. So um, the thing about the Ubits is again, right, if, we, if we're looking to get, uh, go up with that eco mm -hmm. wing right now, we need to be splitting up these these uh, these the villages on yeah, the we don't want but it's only if we're doing that. It's only yeah, if we're doing that. But we don't want them to deplete any of them, so we want to like have a villager on every otherwise, one of them. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Mm, yeah. But it does. <laughs> but we're, we're gonna eco. This is good. The houses are coming down mm -hmm. in a way that if you want to put down the mining camp, the mining ah. camp is aimed towards the town center. Mm -hmm. It's nice though because their gold is 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 neatly tucked away in the back yeah. here for the Malians. That is that is very nice. It's harder to that, harass like that. Like them. it's it's really this little corner over here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I really like that position for the Malians. On the other hand, the Ayubits have their gold just all the way up front. Yeah, it's the most front you can get, I think. <laughs> it's 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 just directly away from the town center mm -hmm. and into the wide open expanse of of the gorge. Yeah, you don't have the same lucky spawns every game, right? Yeah, let's see how the scouting is going for both players. Uh, we see Katie scouted towards the edge and now going um, to the other edge. Ah, uh, okay. She tried to pick up more sheep here, mm -hmm. but Helen went over to that side first mm -hmm. and then switched over to this side. And I think she found a little bit more luck that way mm -hmm. because the sheep over here were denied. It's always a bit of a guess where your your opponent is going. Oh, definitely. Sheep, 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 sheep. Helen, Helen, Helen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She knows, she knows, she knows. All the sheep. All the sheep, sheep, sheep. Don't count them, though. Um, and I, I had a question about um, the, our, our style of, of casting mm -hmm. and what you guys like kind of like want to see, like to see. Is our, is our style of casting nice? Is that, is that good? Or, or do you are not we like too, them? <laughs> or do we, are we too critical? I'm sorry, you have or to not have critical me. enough. You, you have, I, I just come with the channel, so you, you, you can't deny me, but you can't deny, no, no, we love them, right? I, I've seen some comments about Nim and they're all very positive. I've seen some hearts. I've seen people scream like Nim. So thank you <laughs> for the Nim love. We all love some Nim love. <laughs> no, but like I, I was just thinking about this because like mm -hmm. sometimes like we end a cast and I'm like, oh my God, have I been a bully? Have I, have I, have I been making fun of these people? Because like I'd never want to be making fun no. of, of somebody for, for like doing the best that they can in this mm -hmm. game, right? And then have us painfully highlights some of your mistakes which we ourselves would also likely be oh, making oh yeah yeah i so guys and <laughs> and we're just sitting here being all judgmental about it mm -hmm. and saying hey this is the thing you did wrong and this is the thing you did wrong and i feel so bad about it sometimes after i'm like did i go too far am i am i such a bully but then i try and remember did I, I hope i said some nice things too i hope i hope i pointed out that something was really going well and something was was going like the amount of sheep the Malians got here. Helen uh, got herself eleven sheep. I think That's it's part of it is just that maybe negative things stick better in your head. Right? Oh, they definitely do. And if you're feeling a little insecure about uh, about things, I the, like like right now I'm just wanting to point out. Oh well, we could have brought the sheep back here instead. Mm -hmm. maybe. But that <laughs> what like it's 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 minutia sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter, and and it's all okay. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, just just let us know if if we're being too mean or something like that. I I mean I think I wouldn't mind hearing about it or 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 you know if you have tips. I can't mm -hmm. say the thing about tips is always it's it's the same thing with our tips, right? Mm -hmm. Like if if you want to listen to them, 
go ahead if you if you want to discard them because you know better. That's also very fair. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> it's also very fair. Uh, no one's always got it right. <laughs> uh, but wheelbarrow for the for the Ubits. And uh, they did really not cool. go up with the eco wing here, so it didn't matter about. Mm -hmm. Instead, it was the military wing, and that is why we have the Desert Raider coming out into the pit line. I'm yep. not sure about doing this. I think I would just bring down the houses. You're much more mm -hmm. likely to actually have something done by the end of this mm -hmm. um, than you would yeah, otherwise. Yeah, because there's already a javelin thrower coming There's out, already right? a javelin thrower. So the Okay, they did switch to the house, actually. Ah, okay. The Malian player already immediately reacting on that military wing. Uh, making it that the Ayubits are going to get less value of picking for, like, going for the military wing right now. Uh, first mill coming out. Question is, are we going to see some cows? I love how they're just Go. running around here. But again, it's such a hard position, right, <laughs> to harass this gold. It's not going to happen. The position is too good. Horsemen. Uh, horsemen. Bring it in. So we have a stable up already. Mm -hmm. uh, and for, for the Malians, it's just the archery range right now. Yeah. So it makes good sense to bring that horseman out. Mm -hmm. makes because they horsemen counter archers. Yeah. It's the holy triangle of the rock, paper, scissors. And one of the things that the Malians are always going to be looking to do right after they age up is um, they will unlock a new pit mine. Mm -hmm. And then they will try and build that pit mine on the largest gold vein mm -hmm. that they can find. Would you recommend, before going to age up, to already place some houses around it? Um, Probably not, because we'll, before you're aging up, you're talking mm -hmm. about being in dark age. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You need you need that wood to react yeah. to things like outposting or, mm -hmm. or um, even grabbing... Um, like a barracks, archery range, a stable, whatever you need, mm -hmm. right? So no, I, I would not recommend that. It, you're, you're a little bit too strapped for resources in Dark Age yeah. to just... Um, Spend them already. Be spending that already mm -hmm. on the houses, right? Which, yeah, you need houses later on, but they're not offering you any sort of value right now. Yeah. We see the wheelbarrow coming in from Helen, from the Malians players. Uh, Katie already has the wheelbarrow. Um, did that scout live? I do see the raider here. We we still have a scout for both uh, yeah. up for uh, both Helen and, and Katie. So, so I guess I guess the scout got away. Right, three javelin towers. Yeah, yeah, the scout's here, right here on the town center. Oh yeah, he's there he is. Oh, he, oh, twenty-two HP. It's yeah, not he's bad. he's slowly healing up. <laughs> it's he is all fine, you know. He's just chilling waiting to be healed and from this point on like let's take a look at the resources what do we what do we see happening here helen is just going to get a lot of passive gold in mm -hmm. she, so she built a lot of houses around this pit mm -hmm. mine and it's just going to leave that be for the time being mm -hmm. um katie could come down to to harass to, to stop it because she does have a battering ram in q yeah in q where is it it's Where a is it? it must be here, right? <laughs> it must be here. Yeah, right next to it. So she's going to try and take out those houses, I'm guessing, uh, to stop that passive income from the Malians. Yeah, so the Malians are not going to be housed because of it. Mm -hmm. They've got far too many houses on the other pit mine no. for that to be happening. But it's like every time you hit the house and it, the houses get destroyed, they get nine less gold. So, you know... That course on passive income is gonna pay off a little bit less. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was I was thinking we were bringing our javelin throwers for it, but uh, that was just the Donzos, of course. Yeah. They who also have javelins. Which don't confuse them, with you know. Donzos are javelin throwers, but they're not javelin throwers. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's very clear. And yeah, no we've got we've got wheelbarrow up for the two. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think we should just bring down a. A wall, a yeah. wall here. It's right. pretty wallable that and be be done with that it. Side. Golden tier, golden age tier one means that we have ten buildings. If I correct, uh, let's check that. That's ten, ten structures. Yep. And then we get ten percent gathering rate for the resources, which is good. Yeah, that's a good bonus. Ten percent. I mean, you know, that's a ten percent is ten percent. Ten percent. That's a ten per uh, per hundred, or one per ten. <laughs> Just some quick math for you here. Yeah. Not trying to show off or anything, very but uh, <laughs> yeah, very. 
<laughs> she didn't even pull up a calculator, guys. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Those are the, the, the javelin, javelin throws, right? Yeah, at this point, it's important for Helen to kind of keep pace mm -hmm. with with the Ubits to, to realize, hey, what is going on here? And I think like you can't really be picking off reinforcements because they, they have these these desert raiders are going to be fast. very quick. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, I think she just selected all of her military and told her to come over. Yeah, she shared it. We are picking off resources. Uh, Reinforcements like this. Yep, yep, yep. Walking back. Okay. We, do, we don't see them anymore. Yeah, and it's... it's uh, Katie really wants to cause some hurt here mm -hmm. before going castle. Helen wants to go castle. Yeah, we see that Katie is realizing, hey, my opponent does have gold. a lot of arrows, or this, this, this case, javelins coming my way. So let me get that plus one ranged armor. In the meanwhile, Helen is trying to get some more food with the horticulture. H horticulture. Uh, yeah. We just have these guys gathering here, getting ready for so, so, some painful pushes. And behind this, the Ayubids have already put down a second town center. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look too good for the Malians, honestly. How if many cows do we have? Uh, only six. Eight. We've got eight cows. Where, where are the other two? The, the other ones oh, are still one, oh, here. No, one is we're, standing we're being, the One is being harvested too. Oh, oh, ah. Uh, but I think I think we're over overproducing our gold mm -hmm. here. Is the monster quarry? Yeah, it's on it's on gold too. Yeah, so we need to pump out more cow stand if we want to use that gold, or uh, we need to get pick or get get more javelin gold. throwers because those cost uh, those cost gold as well. Yeah, but like we. Ten on gold is quite a lot right now, especially because we have that passive income. Ooh, look at the range on those javelin throwers, guys! Ooh, I love. We are going in for a push here, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Oh, the desert raiders are really tearing down those donzos, and those donzos are the only thing that can really mm -hmm. stop that uh, that battering ram from from tearing down these houses. Now it's okay, it's okay for us to lose these houses right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, KV, am I saying that? no? No, no, sorry, Helen is. It's, it's okay to lose all of these houses. Mm -hmm. The gold doesn't matter to us right now so much. It's it's not about that gold. Mm -hmm. We don't need we don't need these battering rams. We need to be killing this. I love that Helen is actually standing on the other side of the wood and just using the uh, the vision that she has to yeah. hit hit guys there because as, as as long as you have vision on that other side, you can hit that. It doesn't matter that there's trees in between. Yeah, from this point on, it's just castle. Mm -hmm. We need we need to go on food. Yeah, like it's we overshot on gold by quite a bit. Yeah. That's our problem right now. Right? Uh -oh. If we have more wood mm -hmm. for more cattle ranches, for more food, mm -hmm. or just you know brought more more cows to to the party because no. more cows to slaughter. Sorry, better. like that. that no, is. hey, no cow <laughs> slaughtering here. But sorry, I'm I'm a cow fan. Um, um, then we would we we would be in castle for sure. Okay. So it's. It's a little bit. It's a tiny bit of mismanagement in, in that regard. Yeah, I would love to see more cows out before the Grand uh, Ferrari Corral comes out, actually, because usually you can be almost maxed with your with the amount of uh, cows that you have when it comes up. And right now we're we're, we're not even half on the amount of cows. Yeah, KDE's economy really picking up steam here. Mm -hmm. Really picking up steam. It's gonna be very difficult for Helen. Um, to stop the, the incoming onslaught of what looks to be a bunch of gulams. Yeah, especially because, like, Katie has, like, 50% more villagers already as well, so her economy is going to start booming. Now, of course... Okay, I, I, I knew she was going to be aging up right now, mm -hmm. and uh, it just didn't show us. No. Uh, but we are going for the culture wing. Mm -hmm. uh, upon completion, grants three dervish and improves the unit's healing by 30%. This means Katie wants those relics. She's yeah. eyeing those relics. She knows she's got map control right mm -hmm. now. Um, gonna be spotting out this gold vein, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we see uh, she's actually going for the plus one damage for melee as well. In the meanwhile, yeah, it's because of the ghoul arms. Mm -hmm. It's because yeah. we've got horsemen and ghoul arms. In the meanwhile, we see Helen with um, Donzos and um, Javelin Thrower Veteracy event correct. I'm trying to recognize these icons, but which you know, you know javelin throwers do pretty well against the uh, the gulams as well. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not it's not exactly what you what you want. What would you um, go for? What, what kind of composition would you go for? Would you be Helen? 
difficult question. Well, I'm, I'm here for the difficult questions, guys. I think now that you talk me through it and ask me the question, mm -hmm. I think I would go Jeff <laughs> Throwers Donzos. Okay. No, it is pretty good. It does it does work to a degree, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's mostly it's probably mostly javelin throwers. Uh, but if we could get some sofas up for for rating the um, uh, the 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 eco of our opponent, that'd be very good because look at the difference yes. in in in, in village count, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure. I am not sure that Helen knows about this. No, I don't. I don't think, think she's been here for for quite a while. Uh, but we do see like that. The sofas upgrade coming out, citing to me that she probably wants to make some sofas. Yeah, it's the it, the dervish are c coming out right now, and these are going to be grabbing up three relics really really quickly. So, um, if if Helen is looking to stop that at all, she needs to be she needs to be putting out a uh, is that a just a ah oh, it's an imam of course, right mm -hmm. now. So the upgrade that she's doing right now, uh, fertilization um, and. Um, is it also working on the cows? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's working on, on sheep. It works on cows. It but just like, doesn't work on boar and deer. But passive cows, like no cows that are being killed. I think so. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yes. The army looking very, very strong that, for KV yeah, here. That, that will be running. Time, time for some running. <laughs> ideally, ideally, the Malins are going to be picking off some of the arches here with the... Uh, the large number mm -hmm. of javelin throwers, but it's she's being overwhelmed. Yeah, and Katie definitely pushing now because of those relics. Returning to the safety of her town center because there's mm -hmm. there's not a lot else to do. Um, so I like this play too, honestly. One person is building this little hole. So, you know. Yeah, but it's just gonna offer some safety for mm -hmm. the villagers that she's gonna be be making some making yeah. some room for farms, perhaps making some room for for wood gathering here, mm -hmm. possibly getting. That gold in that boar is not gonna. Are we gonna get a wool? Oh, I think we might. We might get a wool. Ooh, a little bit. I would have like liked it a little bit more here, because now it's a little bit too easy for them to go. Well, she's gonna get. She. Oh no. No, she died before she got <laughs> it. Um, you know, we need to get out of that monk out now, though. Or do we want to get? If we relic? kill, if we kill the dervish, um, that that relic is not gonna go back. No, <laughs> it will land right here. Oh, yes, oh. yes, it's ri still right there. It's still possible. Mm, no, 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 not anymore. I mean, we could have focused it, and then there was a red like right. Look in at the range of those javelin throwers, right? So good holding for 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 Helen mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I, I was a little bit worried for Helen, and I'm still a little bit worried for Helen because mm -hmm. that village account, like that the difference yep. keeps increasing, right? It keeps yeah, increasing with stop. every every little bit. And those veteran sofa, I think, mm -hmm. if if you can find the time, right? If 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 you have the the room in your in your mental load mm -hmm. to just split some of these up and start harassing some of these places. Definitely. Right? Yeah, it's gonna hurt so much. It's like, gonna hurt so much. It's it's gonna make the difference. Mm -hmm. Because going straight for for the base, probably not gonna happen, right? I mean, there are quite some farms coming up here on the um, west side. Look at all the techs coming in for Helen. I mean, she she did bank quite some gold, so. So uh, uh, we got we got now. the uh, the the meat gathering for for mm -hmm. the for the deer upgrade as well. So I I think we we can expect this to be picked up. So mm -hmm. that's one relic uh, for for Helen now. Two relics, sorry for. Two yeah, two for, for Katie. Katie and one for Helen. Yeah, this I mean, is what we need. Helen this is, is what we need. Isn't in the bank yet. It's being picked up right now. You never know what's happening um, during during the time that it's traveling home. But this uh, this relic yeah. down here is definitely safe for Katie. So this is this is what we need to happen, right? And the cows are strong with yeah. this one. The cows are so strong, and it is what a lot is allowing uh, the Malians to contend with mm -hmm. the the larger villager count. Of Kathy. Yeah, because it's... But she needs to even it up somehow, difference. because, like, that that issue is going to compound. I mean, idling 21 of them is probably going to help uh, <laughs> Helen quite a bit. Yeah, this is exactly what we needed those sofas mm -hmm. for. Yep. Definitely good, good idling them. And the fact that they're idle will, means that she's not going to notice these idols as much as well. I would, I would love for the rest of the army to come down here and start killing mm -hmm. these villagers, too. Yep. We've got the uh, Phalanx technology coming in 
for KV. So this sh should help with dealing with the uh, with the sofas. And Helen is not stopping from no. making more sofas. So no. it's a good idea to grab that. It's it's a really good technology. It allows the spearmen to just attack from a bit longer range. Mm -hmm. Just makes the spears a bit longer, as you can see right now. Long spears. Uh, we got 13 villager kills now from Helen, making it the the village account go a little bit more it, even. It is what needed to happen here. I'm very happy this happened for for Helen. Mm -hmm. uh, it really did still even 25 things. 25 villager difference. So I'm rounding up. I know it's not exactly 25, uh, <laughs> but about that, okay. And we've got a a man unique man, uh, unique man manganel out mm -hmm. for for KD here, and this is going to make things hard for the for the javelin thrower. She knows about it right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if we're going to be seeing the use of uh, the stealth mechanic from the Musafadis because we do have a number of Musafadi warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, we can, yeah, yeah. yeah that go Manjanique's around. going down. That Manjanique's going down. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna. It's not long for this world. I don't know if it can get another. Who? Ah, that's that's such a shame. But it's going down now. Yeah, we got, we got, we got. We got the Dervish are here to, to <laughs> heal up. This poor archer, but it's—I yeah. don't think it's going to make the difference. Uh, Helen's army looking very, very strong here. It's like when you play a healer in a game and you try to heal your teammate, but then you both die. That's kind of what happened right now. Yeah. No, and this is looking very strong. And again, after this, the idea is more raids, right? Mm -hmm. More villager kills, more keeping things down. Are we not winning this? I mean, we're walking away. Are we? Do we have more army? We uh, have a lot yep. more army coming in. Three versus twenty. Okay, we are sending in the men for more raids. This is so good. Mm -hmm. We put we had to put down a market at some point uh, to to make some trades. I'm not sure what we traded. It's stone, I think. Uh, maybe we bought some extra stone for that keep. Mm. To put it up very quickly. Sense. Yep. That must have happened during the fight. It's two for two in in terms of relics, but this one is probably going to go over yeah. to Kathy, and, and unless um, Helen can can somehow. Managed to, yeah, to oh, but that's pretty so good far, though. The so far raiders, yeah, and again, it, just Helen doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, these these sofas are gonna come like they're they're gonna die. They're they're <laughs> gonna be brought down. They're gonna be stopped. But, but they're annoying. But they're annoying. And they're costing APM. And that that's what counts. And there's some new ones coming in now. Even. And it's just slowing down the growth and just of um of. Of KD. And on the other hand, the keep went down here. The palisade wall came down. We, uh, I say came down, like I'm in incredibly cognizant of how much I'm saying it. And now you're going to be too. <laughs> 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 Everything yep. came down. Yep. Uh, it's fine. But the keep came down here. It's going to be hard to raid into this, into this little nook over here. And uh, oh, this oh, is why we. This is why, trade. I, I'm not sure why I didn't realize this before, but this is why we built the palisade. Of course, mm -hmm. we're looking to be trading here as well. Yeah. And um, it's interesting because we did not go up with the. Uh, we went up with the Manza Quarry instead mm -hmm. of the. Uh, but sometimes you trade don't want to like, let them know that you're going to trade, right? And telegraphs your idea, and, the, mm -hmm. and traders are still really good with or without the Saharan trade network. Yep. I mean, you see, um, let's see. 1700 food coming in from the Malians right now. Let's go, cow. It's so much food. <laughs> it's so much food. And she's using all of it, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think um, Katie is spending her resources a little bit better than, than Helen is managing to do right now. Yeah. She's like, got really, less, really less getting up. really getting a lot of efficiency out of that. Yeah. And we've got more raids coming down. It, it's so good. This is the way for the Malians to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's a hundred and nine. It's the split push, right? Because uh, like her army needs to react to this. And this yeah. army is bringing down. I didn't say come down this time. <laughs> 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 bringing down, uh, coming. It, it is coming down into the center, though. No, <laughs> says KD. Actually, I can't respond to this. I need to be over here mm -hmm. to. Uh, I need more walls. Yeah, yep. you do. You do. You need. You need a full wall. You need to determine where where you're gonna fight. Like if you have the control over where to fight, that is gonna be amazing because you're the one in the lead. If you don't want to fight, you don't want to fight. That's good. Do we see some traders coming up already? There are some traders, and as long 
as long as Helen can keep um, KD on that side of the map. And KD might be looking to do that, right? Because like mm -hmm. she's just walling up. She might just be going Imperial. And I think if that's the case, mm -hmm. then she might be paying for it because she does not know about the trade. Yeah. This on is why she's taking the fight here for the record. On the other side, the trade is going quite to the middle. So she might... She accidentally right, right clicked the, the farm. But after this, now they're going to go for the villagers. <laughs> Yep. It's always a little hard to, to attack move onto farms if mm -hmm. everything... Like, this is why these these little things like here mm -hmm. are actually so detrimental to you because they can... Mm. It's, it's easy easier to... Attack, to yeah, it's easy <laughs> to attack ground. Yeah, 34 villager kills now for Helen. So trying to even it up. And there's only a 10 villager... 11. Villager difference now Look, between It's them. such good control, though, because, like, she wanted to bring down these, these Manjaniks here. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't quite do that. Rich, mm -hmm. the the sofas were trying to move onto the flank to try and and and, and cause some havoc onto the, the siege here. Sadly, the the uh, trading is gonna get spotted out. It's now. gonna get spotted out. That would not be good for for Helen. Mm -hmm. But the uh, villager count is almost evened up, and I I, I think I think KV stopped producing villagers. So mm -hmm. very very good work for um for Helen here. Yeah, we still have those raids coming out here as well. They're so still killing they're still more killing villages. villages. We're on 42 villager kills here. 43. And 45. It's it, We're doing so much work here. We're focusing KD, on this fight. But Katie's really focused on this fight. Yeah. I think she knows like that trade needs to be stopped. Mm -hmm. Mayan trade is very, very strong. I need yep. to do something about it. And in the meanwhile, she's losing both this fight. And, and the one in the back. There, and, there yeah. are so many dead villages here. We're on fifty. We're at almost fifty village kills. And if this makes it that Helen has more economic units right now. I than think. Katie. I think. I think it's going to be like Helen managed to hold, and it's now it's now her game, right? Yeah. There, there we go. Yeah. Congratulations, Helen. Uh, that was quite a big swing. The other way around. Unexpected. I, think was, I was worried. That was really cool. If you want to see some more Age of Empires, click on one of these playlists and I'll see you there. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.